time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by New Stopette, America's leading spray deodorant. Now with its anti-immunity factor. Poof, there goes perspiration. Now let's all play What's My Line? Let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular Broadway columnist, whose popular Broadway column appears in the papers throughout the United States, Canada, and Australia, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. On the bestseller lists across the nation is a book called Treadmill to Oblivion. And here on my left is its author, Mr. Fred Allen. Thank you very much. And on my left, ladies and gentlemen, a young lady who told me that it was so cold this afternoon, she saw a mounted policeman blowing on top of his horse before he sat down. Jolene <laughs> Francis. Thank you, Fred. Is that what I thought? <laughs> <laughs> and on my left, substituting for our vacationing Bennett Surf is the distinguished actor who is opening on Wednesday night on a play on Broadway called Tonight in Samarkand. In this play, he is a crystal ball gazer. We wonder if he has it with him tonight. <laughs> Mr. Louis Jordan. <laughs> Thank you. I wish, I wish I did have my crystal ball with me. <laughs> and on my, left, on my left, our wonderful moderator and newsman, Mr. John Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Once again tonight, we have some folks with some very interesting occupations. I think perhaps the panel's going to have a rather rough time of it, but I could be wrong. We'll have a famous guest challenger later on to test their powers also, but right now I think it's time for them to meet our first challenger whose job has to be spotted. Would you sign in, please, ma'am? Flo... <clears throat> Flo Peterson, is that right? Miss Peterson, I didn't really want the chalk back. I just wanted to shake hands, but thanks for it anyway. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. M Mrs. Peterson, and where are you from? Maple Shade, New Jersey. Maple Shade, New Jersey? Yes, sir. Well, now, that's fine, because this is great weather to be in the shade, I must say. It's about ten above. But I trust you'll put the panel in the shade, and before we do it, suppose you let them get a better look at you, will you, please? Hello, Miss Peterson. Hello, I'm the other Alan, not Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mrs. Peterson, if you'll sit down here next to me, we'll give the panel their usual one wild free guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she teaches dancing. Teaches dancing, Mr. Allen. From Jersey, I think uh, she's a hostess in the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think she's a master of the Swedish massage. Mr. Jordan. <laughs> this is incredible because I had the same idea, a masseuse. A masseuse? There exactly. you are. Exactly. No, I'm afraid you're all wrong. We'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mrs. Flo Peterson. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is, but the panel's going to have to change. <laughs> and I mean dig, too. Mrs. Pa Peterson, do you know how we... Uh, Score this operation? Yes, sir. All right, if you understand the scoring system, I don't think there's much left to do but to tell them that you're salaried. And then let's begin the general questioning with uh, Fred Allen. Uh, Miss Peterson, uh, is there a product involved in what yes, you do? Sir. Is this uh, a product that uh, I might conceivably use? Yes. Uh, it's conceivable. Well, that's all, <coughs> that's all I ask, John. I know something's wrong here instantly. You're smirking earlier in the show. So. Uh, if I use this particular product uh, of yours, would it uh, be inclined to make me happy? Could be. I would say that if you were in the mood to use it, it would make you happy if you used it. Conceivably. Conceivably, Conceivably yes. Oh, yes. always. Uh, is this something that... Uh, uh, could be used out of doors? Yes. Uh, in view of the weather that we're having at the moment, 
uh, if I uh, made use of this, would it help to keep me warm? Hmm. Small conference. <laughs> yeah. It, it could yeah, Mrs. Peterson Indeed. would agree that if you use this uh, properly, it might help to keep you warm. Miss uh, Peterson has a voice like a mystery guest. I just uh, sort of sensed it there. <laughs> the, uh, uh, if it would keep me warm, uh, is this something that would uh, have to be reached from, from the ankles to about the neck? Yeah. Yes. Conceivably? Yes. Conceivably. Uh, is it something that might be buttoned up uh, in the front? <laughs> It's no. not a union suit, in other words. No. no. It's not a union suit. One down and nine to go, Miss Betsy. I'm dead again. <laughs> You're a confederate. Uh, is this, by any chance, anything that might reach you internally from your shoulders to your feet? No. 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 Two down and eight to go, Mr. Jordan. Uh, is this product uh, uh, basically uh, mineral? Yes. Uh, is it... Uh, something that you apply on your body? No. No, you could not say it was applied to the body. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Is it solid rather than liquid? Yes. Well, now, although it's conceivable that Fred might use this product, would it be rather unlikely if he did, or humorous? Is it really meant yes. for someone who isn't quite Fred's type? <laughs> you mean I'm abnormal? <laughs> no, I, just I will say this. We, oh. we go back to the original premise. It would be unusual if Fred were to be, uh, were to put this to use. Well, it would also be unusual if Louis put it to use. Maybe it isn't quite so unusual. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Would it be unusual if any of us on this panel wore it? It would be unusual if anybody on the panel wore it. Yep. Yes. <laughs> it, would, it would make us look conspicuous. If you, anybody on the panel wore it, would make them conspicuous. Yes, yes. it would. Mm -hmm. Well, is this possibly something that would be too small for us to wear becomingly? Too small for you to wear becomingly? Oh, I would say yeah. it was that. Yes, indeed. Four down and... Well, if you said oh, pardon yes... Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, Dorothy. You can't give me A for effort. Well, could this be for some, something other than adults? Yes. yes. Could this be a product for little babies? No. For little babies, no. Four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. It, it isn't uh, uh, wearing apparel, is it? No. Yes, it is not wearing apparel, no. Well, John, <laughs> I hope you'll talk backwards some night so I'll understand what you're saying. <laughs> I, uh, is it something that, that is made of metal? Yes. Yes. Is it something that uh, when it's used, is it, does it touch the body? Yes. yes. Uh, externally, of course. Yes. <laughs> you couldn't use it internally. You'd have a... Is it something that you... <laughs> I don't know, something, I, I'm going out on a limb because I generally get cut off. Uh, it's not uh, anything that, that has a, a massage quality, is it? No. No, it's it not is not note. anything that has massage quality, yes. Ooh. Well, I got two no's then, didn't I? <laughs> well, you've got a double negative, which me adds up to an affirmative, so you're still in there fighting. Oh, am I? I thought I was like a Russian politician. I was in and out so fast. <laughs> 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 well, it goes to the other one, too. Uh, is it something that uh, has to be plugged in to be used electricity? No. No. Five down and five to go, and I'm going to give you one more minute to try and get you this, say but you're not close. it isn't for adults and it isn't for babies. Is it something for people for other than human beings? No. But no. That makes it six down and four to go, Mr. Jordan. If I was wearing this thing right now, would it be visible? <laughs> if you were wearing it, it yes. would be visible. Yes. yes. Uh, would it be uh, something that make, would make uh, the audience laugh? If you were wearing it, it would be visible and it would make the audience laugh, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, in other words, this is something that one can do only when one is by himself, for instance. No. No, that makes it seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, is this for children? 
Is it for children? Yes. yes. Well, is it some type of thing that children put on? No. 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 Could we have a conference? Oh, you may have ten seconds for a conference. Doing? Maybe it's in the toy world, you know, like a merry-go-round thing or a pogo It's speaker. metal. It's metal, yeah. Space helmet? Well, that knew you'd wear that. Yeah, if it would amuse a child. Would it amuse a child? Yes. Is it a toy? Yes. Is it something they ride on? It has, has it wheels or does it locomote? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it has wheels. Is it? No. no. It's a pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> I got a flip it. You got it. It's a pogo stick, but the rest of the flips are on. <laughs> You said yes to wheels. Pogo stick has no wheels. Yeah, that's what, what makes But it locomotes. Pogo that's stick. right. <laughs> and actually, you haven't um, really gotten all the fun out of this, but uh, we've run out of question time. Do you test pogo sticks? Yes, yes. my <laughs> darling. <laughs> Mrs. Oh, Peterson is at the end of this production line, and the other young ladies on the production line put it together, and it comes to Mrs. Peterson, and she jumps up and down <laughs> and says, That's great. <laughs> then they take it apart and pack it. Now, isn't that a wonderful way to spend your life? Thanks very much. I hope you have fun. Panel, a very good beginning, a very, her very joint difficult must be job. jumping over there. <laughs> Things are jumping, yeah. I guess her joint must be jumping over yeah, the there. The joint is jumping, yeah. <laughs> Conceivably, that is. Conceivably. <laughs> All right, let's see what you can do with another challenger. Will you please come in and sign in, sir? Ian, is that? Lou? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Lou Fuller. Is that right, right there? Where are you from? <laughs> North Hollywood, California. I beg your pardon, sir? North Hollywood, California. From North Hollywood, California. Fine. Now, uh, will you walk over there and let the panel get a look at I you will. and then come over and join me? How are you, sir? Mr. How do you do? You live near Bob Hope? Not too far. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fuller, will you That's sit down with me, sir. please? And we'll give the panel one free guess as to what your line may be. We begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think he sells swimming pools. Mr. Allen. I think from, uh, from uh, California that uh, he's a, uh, an orange squeezer at the Sunkiss factory out there. <laughs> Miss Brett. I think he grows avocados. Mr. Jordan. A hotel receptionist. No, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Lewis Fuller. At the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. And then we'll see what the panel can do. All right. Mr. Fuller, you know how we score this operation, yes, too? Yes, Good. All right, Mr. Fuller is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, do you deal in services, Mr. Fuller? Yes. Do you work for a profit-making organization? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Do you work for some uh, branch of the government then? Yes. Is it uh, from California? Is it a state government? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Oh, I don't want it. Is it federal or city? <laughs> Neither. Neither. Three down and seven to go, <laughs> this is your dad. got two answers in one. Do you wear any kind of uniform? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you wear about what you're wearing now at your job? Yes. Now, have I got this straight? Do you work for... No branch of any government? He works for a branch of government, but which branch has not as yet been ascertained? It's not city. It's not state. It's, it's not, not state, and it's not federal. It's not what city. What is that? <laughs> is it county? Yes. Oh, do you have anything to do with law enforcement? Yes. Do you wear a badge ever? No. That makes it five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. Do you the answer that you got with respect to the question was specifically, do you have anything to do with law enforcement? Do you get a yes to that? Uh, do you deal with people? Yes. You don't deal with animals? No. I, uh, <laughs> there are so many wait animals. I've got to wait. I've got to add up Fred's question. You don't deal with animals? No. Yes. That's right, you don't. Yes, you don't deal with animals? No. Go ahead, Fred. <laughs> then you deal with people. Yes. As they are in North Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> well. Do you Will have... you answer all the mail oh, that I comes? Have... <laughs> no, I have many friends out there. I just wanted to wake them up, too. Uh, do you uh, have certain hours that you function? 
Yes. Do you, do you have an office out there? Yes. Do people come to you to get this service that you uh, afford yes. or provide? Uh, do you send for the people to come to you? Sometimes. They don't come voluntarily? Yes, sometimes they do. Are they happier when they leave your presence? Yes. Generally? Generally. Some long faces out there, I know. <laughs> uh, do you, uh, you're not in the police department at all? No. Yes, you are not in the police department, no. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Fred. Do you have anything to do with real estate? Do I have anything to do with real estate? No. That makes it six down and four to go. You get one more minute for this one because you're not getting very close. Miss Francis. Uh, now, you spoke and you brushed everything out of my head and there was so little in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but such a pretty head to have so little in it. Is there any paperwork involved in what you do? Yes. Is the paperwork important? Yes. Uh, do people, uh, would you have anything whatsoever to do with any kind of licensing? Qualified, yes, I think. Qualified, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to do with um, uh, licenses that might have to do with something that might entertain the people, like fishing or... No. No. No, and on a time basis, I'm going to flip well, them all over. I Actually... Have a weenie, John. You got a weenie? Yes. Is he, is he able to marry people? Mm. No. <laughs> Where did you get a hold of this? is wonderful. I want you to meet Mr. Lewis Fuller, the director of smog control for the county of Los Angeles. Oh. <laughs> you know, we, actually, we took a big chance that you wouldn't think of the smog trouble they've been having, which actually is all cleared up now. Mr. Fuller took care of it. And, Before he uh, left. The chance paid off. It was wonderful. Mr. I'm, Fuller? I understand you have it here. Call it Smeeze. Is that right? Oh, Smeeze. my, uh, well, now, <laughs> yes, it's been nice having you with us, sir. Thank you very much for being our guest. That's my life. In just a moment, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest, but first, here's Arlene Gray for Stop It. You know, everyone's been making such a fuss over Stopette's famous Dorothy Jarnack commercials. You know, the wonderful dance pantomime she does. But, well, I'm kind of jealous. I mean, I can do that fancy stuff, too. Want to see me? Well, then watch. This is Stopette's new cream deodorant. Perfect for you who prefer a cream. It swivels out of its case, like this. Woo, I'm dizzy, <laughs> but uh, that's the way it works. Uh, Stop Ed Cream swivels out of its case like this. And that means no gooey fingers, no waste, wonderful ease of application. Actually, Stop Ed Cream glides on like this. That's just what it does. It's gentle as... Not only do you never touch Stop X, you hardly know it touches you. Yet, unlike many stick deodorants, Stop X is an antiperspirant, too. It is very efficient. No antiperspirant is more effective than Stop X. You never need worry about your deodorant when you use Stop X. And when you use Stop X, you never need worry about you. So why don't you use the deodorant in the new uh, swivel case? The new way to smooth away perspiration. Stop it. Cream deodorant. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity for which my friends on the panel are blindfolded. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we dispense with all of the usual preliminaries and get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with uh, Miss Arlene Francis. 
Are you used to appearing before audiences? Yes. <laughs> Weekly. Um, would you be considered a performer? No. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Mr. Jordan. Have you, are you uh, in any way uh, in the uh, entertainment field? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, by entertainment, uh, you are not ruling out sports, are you? No, we're not ruling out oh, sports. All right. Are you in sports? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Are you in politics? Yes. <laughs> not for long. I, uh, <laughs> do you use this voice when you're performing <laughs> your uh, political... <laughs> uh, you're going to get a no with that unless you rephrase it. Uh, well, I retract the whole thing. Uh, I, uh, I'm non-existent at the moment. Do you, uh, are you employed here in New York City? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Are uh, you usually, would you consider your base Washington? Oh, yes. Are you elected to office? Yes. Are you uh, a member of Congress? Yes. Pretty powerful one, too, eh? <laughs> now, let's see. The House of Representatives. Are you a member of the Senate? Yes. Uh, have you been on the front pages in the last a month. Importantly, I'm sure you're important, whatever you are, but I mean, uh, so that we would have uh, paid special attention to a statement that you might have made. Yes. Are you a Democrat? You can't be shaky about that unless you're Wayne Morse. <laughs> Yes. Now, let's see. How many Democrats are there? <laughs> uh, a Democratic senator in the front pages recently. Well, have you made some uh, statements that have been printed regarding President Eisenhower's statement on Formosa? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Jordan. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> would, you, uh, would you say that uh, your face seen by most of the American public would be instantly recognizable? I would answer that one, if I may, Louis, and say, yes, the face would be recognized very quickly. Mm. In should, most I see. Uh, should I hear myself as a Frenchman, your voice as it really is, do you believe that I would recognize it? Uh, well, I'll count that as a question just in the general area of information. I would think perhaps not, but then I'm not fully conversant with how much time you've spent here. But I think it's likely you would not recognize it immediately. I see. Do you uh, speak often on the radio, for instance, or in television? Do you appear on television, radio? No. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I give, <coughs> with uh, our guest's permission, I will say that our guest does appear and can appear on radio and television, and has in the past. Uh -huh. This is very interesting. <laughs> uh, do you believe that uh, you are known in France? <laughs> Won't help. I must concentrate on the French element, you see. I would say this. I think we'll give you a no on that with this qualification. It is certainly possible that a substantial element of the governmental area of France might know our guest, but I do not think that the um, ordinary citizen of France would. So we'll give you a no on that. That's six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. We have only two minutes to go. Well... I'm really in the dark, so I might as well get a news item out of, out of this anyway. Are you likely to be a candidate for president or vice president in 1956? No. <laughs> <laughs> Seven dollars, three to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, I know it's not Senator McCarthy. <laughs> Congratulations. 
congratulations. That's the first time I've been right tonight. I, uh... It gets down to personalities. Now, I don't know. It's not uh, Senator McClellan, is it? <laughs> All right, Fred, you can take off. This is the first time I think anybody ever backed into a correct answer, and you sure backed was. into that one. It's not Senator McClellan, is it? It most certainly is well, Senator I, McClellan. Conceivably, I was... Uh, now, actually, I have a very interesting question. Uh, Louis, would you have recognized Senator McClellan's voice if he had spoken in normal tones? No, voice, no. You but wouldn't you, have. You saw him during yes. the committee investigation. Well, of course, of course. But you would not. Well, then I feel much better because I feel I gave you a correct answer. And, <laughs> Senator, may I say thank you for being a most... Happy guest on What's My Line. It's lovely to have you. you take the mic and the first visit? Thank you We'll be back in just a moment, but first here's a further word from Arlene Gray. This is the special value package of Stop at Spray Deodorant you'll be seeing on drug and cosmetics counters everywhere. It means that when you buy a regular size bottle of Stop It at the regular price, you get this generous 47-day trial bottle with it, free. It's our way of making still more friends for Stop It, and it's a delightful bonus for regular users. Gives you a handy extra bottle for travel, for your dressing table, or for others in your family. This offer is limited, so get Stop It right away. Get your 47-day trial bottle absolutely free. Before our panel says goodnight, may I remind you to tune in again next Sunday evening at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when once again we invite you to play What's My Line. For other localities, check your local listings for the date and the time of our weekly series. And now a message from our alternate week sponsor, Remington Rand, makers of the Remington 60 Deluxe Electric Shaver. The shaver that's so gentle it can shave a peach. So rugged, it can shave a brush. Proving that no matter how tender your skin or tough your beard, the Remington's bound to give you a close, comfortable shave. Tomorrow, why don't you reach for the Remington? Get a Remington 60 Deluxe. Louis Jordan, you have most ably filled Bennett Surf's chair. He's away, we hope, having a wonderful vacation. He can rest easy. Everybody does as well as you do. Next week, we'll have H.C.O. Pinza with us. And now, until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy. Good night, John. Good night, Senator. Uh, good night, Mrs. McClellan. <laughs> Why, thank you. Good night, Mrs. McClellan, wherever you are. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night, Senator. Good night, Louis. Good night, John Daly. <laughs> good night, Louis, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line? <laughs> Transportation for Mr. Fuller was arranged through American Airlines. American Airlines, the country's leading airline, now serving the United States, Mexico, and Canada. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network. <laughs>